Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rules 1111. I'm back with two bringing dark into light. Please take what resonates and leave it as not fit for else. Click reading on first ring. Oh, you guys, so I, you can tell I'm at the park. I have the phone up with Sky because the phone won't sit still. So we're just going to do an energy read. I am hearing, you guys, it is Friday, August 30th. Okay, we are towards the end of the summer. It is Labor Day weekend. Um, Spirit is saying be safe. Okay, be safe. Um, enjoy this weekend. Okay, enjoy it this weekend. Keep your vibration high. Keep your frequency high. Stay away from drama. Stay away from karma. Or karmics. Stay away from karmics. Stay away from drama. Stay away from chaos. Okay? Um, but enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Spirit does want you to enjoy your time. Okay? Um, but, and again, Labor Day weekend, you know, there's a lot of drinking, a lot of driving. There's a lot of partying, a lot of camping and stuff like that. Um, I am hearing some people, you guys are sober, it's okay, you know, so you can still party and still be sober, okay? You can still party and be sober. Um, with the summer coming to an end and fall, you know, beginning, the season's changing. Persephone, um, I'm getting the goddess of Persephone. Uh, she is, God, actually Demeter and God, or Demeter and Persephone, so I'm getting mother-daughter energy coming out. Okay, so two, two females bonding. Uh, if you know the story of Persephone, she would go into the underground or underworld from fall and winter, from fall to fall through winter. Okay, she would go down to Hades um, and be with her king um, and rule the underworld for six months of the year. And then she would come back up to earth, to this realm, and spend time with her, her mother. Spending time with her mother. Um, Demeter, and so this is a time that uh, her and her mother would be missing each other. So something about missing one another. So you could have been really bonding with the child, with the female um, child. Um, so I guess it's kind of more is like you know bonding over the summer with your kids, and then they go back to school because we're going back into school. Um, there's also new seasons uh, changing, so a new season coming. Uh, so yeah, and some people come out of our lives during seasons, come in, and so we have the wheel of fortune right here too, especially with the wheel of fortune coming out. Okay, destiny, turning points, moving forward. So again, so yeah, you could have in strength, Leo. Okay, somebody could be a new mom that, or like even not a new mom, but new to their child going to preschool or kindergarten, and it's their first, it's their first child, and so this could be a new experience for someone. Uh, especially when I got the Persephone and Demeter energy coming out, because like I said, Demeter lost her child um, for six months of the year, and she, that's why we don't have. Uh, agriculture we don't have the plants uh die um the trees go dormant and stuff like that the flowers um die and then they come back in spring and stuff and so that could be something significant here where your student your your child is going off to somebody's child could be going off to college okay somebody's child could be leaving the country um or again you could be a first mom where your child's going off to preschool or kindergarten okay um but have a lot of strength a lot of courage from this time okay a lot of strength a lot of courage I hope I have the camera on there, right, you guys? And again, destiny, will fortune, okay? This has to happen. It's like I said yesterday in reading Lion King. Um, Lion King is a circle of life, okay? People pass and people are born, okay? We, we have life, okay? There's death and rebirth. And, yeah, it's somebody you love, somebody you care about, okay? Could be moving on. Okay, moving on into the next cycle, into the next season, Someone you share a lot of love with, okay? Someone you love dearly. Because, again, Demeter, Demeter loved her daughter. And when she first went missing, she searched everywhere for her. And she continued to search everywhere for her. And then Hectic, got, Triple Goddess Hectic, came in and helped find her. And they found her in the underworld where she was only able to eat half the pomegranate. So she was able to come back up. She made a deal with Zeus. Um, so, yeah. And also, or... Again, you could be Persephone and the energy of Persephone and you're going, you know, into your kingdom, okay? Back home. Okay, or it could be, you could be, you don't have to be a first-time mom. Maybe you're a mom that your kids came home from um, from college. And so you got to spend the college, summer with your, your kids from college and they're going back into the dorms. They're going back into college, okay? So somebody's going back to work a lot, okay? Maybe you took a break, okay? Like I had to take a, I had to take a break from making candles and uh, making a lot of my, my bracelets and my wax melts and my body butters and sugar scrubs during the summertime because I was with Cherish. Um, but now I'm going to be going back for more work. You may be getting back more to work, okay? Okay, details. Working hard. Um, somebody may be getting a desk job. So someone may be getting a... Hey! Someone may be getting a teacher job. 
and we do have the lovers again coming out. So we do have uh, lovers. So somebody maybe, somebody maybe um, moving into the next chapter of marriage as well. Okay, moving out of the house with this new season. Okay, moving out of the house, moving into their their, their with their significant other. And this mother could be a queen of cups, could be very sensitive, very emotional right now. Okay, it's it's hard, it's difficult. You know, when Carmelita went into church was easier. When Carmelita went to, she didn't go to preschool, but when she went to kindergarten. Wow, that was a big step for me, and that was I was like really, really, you know. So it, it could be a challenge. We have the seven of wands here, some kind of challenges here, you know. But be patient, temperance. Okay, be patient. I, I hope you guys can see this. I can't tell if it's on there. Temperance is patience and balance. Okay. Calmness. And there's a wheel of fortune again. I hope my phone will get hot because it's directly in the sun. Yep, this is children. Okay, children. If you don't have any children, this like if you don't have any children, you have grandchildren. If not, you may just um be moving on. If you don't have children or uh, grandchildren, this is just you moving on to a different cycle. You could be a college student. Okay, and you went home. You could be the one who went home to your parents and you're going back off to college, okay? Or you could be somebody that's deciding to travel and, you know, leave your hometown, you know, where you where you grew up and starting a whole new, going through a new whole new experience, a new journey. Higher fit, education. Education when I was talking about school, okay? You know, someone may just want to travel the world now, okay? Some kind of control. Uh, somebody could have been a control freak. This is a this is a lesson for you to learn to let go and surrender. Okay. Learn to let go and surrender. Okay. What else here? What else going on here? Again, happy Fourth or happy Fourth of July. Happy Labor Day weekend, you guys. Okay. Just be safe. Be safe. Okay. Enjoy the last week of the summer, considered summer, you know. Cherish won't go back to school this week, which is sucks. Uh, Carmi goes back to school on Tuesday. Um, Cherish won't go back for another week or two. So I have another week or two with her, like, not in school. Somebody's original, okay, some kind of original plan or, like, taking back the power, too, standing in the power. Standing up. I keep hearing dorm, okay, so I did hear dorm. Okay, I'm going to put my phone on hand. Sorry. My phone is really hot, you guys. Really, really hot. Um, stay cool. Please stay cool so I can do this reading. It's directly in the sun. I wish I had some shade to the phone. Oh, hold on. This might help. Oh, yeah, this might help. Okay, that might help a little bit. I could probably find a shitty spot, but I'm kind of tanning here, too. <laughs> okay, so we have a Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, and King of Knight of Cups, okay? This is somebody that has so many opportunities or options coming your way, okay? Um, this is you just standing and uh, getting determined, okay? Uh, being a leader. Being on your throne. Black Cat here. And Knight of Cups. Loving. Sunflowers are significant here. There's two lions here as well. Somebody can be doing a player too. When we get the night cup, it's like a player energy. So be careful because something could be hidden from someone, okay? Something could be hidden. Yeah, because there's something, you know, there could be a player, okay? So somebody could be going off to college or somebody could be going off and getting a new job or like, like I said, traveling and they may end up dealing with a player out there, okay? Somebody may try to play a game with them, okay? Try to manipulate something here too. Yeah, there's movement, travel. Chariot, okay, getting away. Okay, getting away. There's a city. Somebody may be going and traveling into the city now. Okay, somebody may be in a small town and they're going to end up going to move into a bigger town or city. Or maybe they're leaving the city and going to a smaller town too. Then okay, roads can switch, you guys, okay? When I also see this Queen of Wands and this options with this Knight of Cups, is this is you could be also like fiery energy, but then also a little bit of passionate too. Okay, passionate about something. Okay, that you'd love to do. 
maybe you're fighting, okay, because I like uh, determine that you're, you could be fighting for something that you're passionate about, okay, that you really want to be a part of as well with this Knight of Cups, okay? And that's why you have a lot of opportunities here, options here. Make sure you keep your eyes open, okay? Make sure you keep your eyes open. Okay, some is, yeah, there could be somebody moving out that has a lot of responsibility now with the Page of Cup, Pentacles too. Lots of responsibility. And I said somebody's going to be sneaky. So be careful. Somebody's going to try to sneak, do a sneak attack on you, okay? Or your your child or somebody you care about, okay? It may not even be you care about. It could be your niece, your nephew. It could be a friend of yours or a daughter, child, or uh, even a god, god, goddaughter or godson, okay? Because um, somebody could be some kind of competition too. When you go into college or when you go into a new job or a career, um, there's a lot of competition here, so be careful. But again, here's the strength coming out, okay? Strength, this is courage, okay? Staying in your power, staying in your power. Yep, Queen of Cups again. So something very sensitive, emotional, mother. Ten of Cups, happiness. Lost the dinosaur. Lost the dinosaur? Oh, garbage truck. Okay, so this, you guys, this could be some, okay, this also is your your mom or your parents, Okay. Because you guys said mother-daughter energy or mother-child energy. They love you, okay? They want the best for you, too, okay? They do. This Queen of Cups is a very nurturing, loving, passionate energy. And they do want the best for you, okay? They want the best for you. They want you to be able to, you know, live your life to the fullest. They want you to experience. They want you to experience a life, okay? They want you to experience life. Somebody doesn't want you to have to sit back and like stay in a smaller community and not be able to move forward, okay? They really want you to move forward. Calming to swim or swimming to calmer waters. High priestess cancer intuition. Oh, yeah, there's a mother empress coming out here, okay? A mother. And there could be a challenge too, okay? Don't live in fear. If you're the mom, do not live in fear. Trust your child. Trust your child. It's going to make the right, right choices, right decisions, and live their life to the fullest, okay? Um, especially this weekend and stuff. Just enjoy, okay? Enjoy the little moments. And I'm here and cherish the moments as well, okay? Cherish all those moments you've had with them, especially if your little one's going into school or you're, you're, you call me the little one, they're going off to college or they're getting married, they're starting their own family. Um, it's, it's their time to experience life. It's their time. Okay, even if, even if like, sorry, the garbage company's coming by and there's noise. Even if they're the ones that are going to school, okay, it's their their time, your child's time to actually experience, you know, school and life and meet new friends. Okay, it could be a little bit. It could be a little bit. It could be a little bit scary, but you'll get through this. They will get through this. You just pray for them. Pray, 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 trust, believe. Everything that you know. Just think of all the positive things. Yep, trust. Look at it. It's kind of trusting. Okay, trusting. Okay, I'm gonna let you go because the garbage come the garbage is really loud. Um really loud. It gets harder too. I love you guys. Love, peace, like, hill, namaste.